How can you tell if brain fog or dizziness is actually from cerebral hypoperfusion versus something like anxiety or deconditioning? Good question. Number one, you can measure cerebral hypoperfusion, especially looking at baselines of someone laying down versus being upright. Transcranial Doppler ultrasound is how we do it, and it has been kind of borne out to be the best way. If we talk about deconditioning real quick, if your chronic problem, whatever that is, starts with, I just decided to sit down one day and didn't get up. Now that might be deconditioning, but if you're finding like, I got so tired or my symptoms got so bad that I couldn't be upright anymore and that caused me to have to spend more time in bed or on the couch, then we can see pretty easily there that that's probably not the thing that caused it. On a treatment side though, it does mean that if we've got a long time where our body has been deconditioned, that is still part of the recovery process, but it doesn't mean that that's necessarily the catalyst or the thing that caused the problem. So to back it up real quick, if we're looking at anxiety cases, we want to measure that. We want to measure the orthostatic cerebral perfusion, and then we pay attention to that relative, is this a problem that is because we're stressing the system when we stand or we're stressing it within emotion? We can measure the difference between those two things pretty easily, and most people will actually be able to dive into that in their story and give you a sense of what's going on. So to start from that place, um, if you just get the measurements, you have eyes wide open, and then you know exactly where to start from.